Hey, what's up, guys? So, basically, where we left off last, we got the armor key, and we've got a lot of rooms on the right side of the house that we can open up right now. So, um, let's get after it. So before we, um, the guy came through the door where we fought the dog. So the second he comes down these stairs, we're just blowing him away. And, uh, hopefully I get a headshot. Kinda whack. Died so fast. Well, that stinks. Well, the extra kerosene usage from running past that dog earlier paid off. Wait, hold up. Now I got the kerosene on me. I got the extra bullets. Do I really need all this? That's the question. And I'm not positive if I do. Uh... Yeah, I'm really not sure. Here, we're gonna we're gonna put the old key away and we're gonna put away the um the extra bullets because I don't think I need all those. And then we're heading to the other side right now, so it'll just take two seconds. I, yeah, I don't think I need all these bullets. I really don't. Honestly, if I don't have any bullets to back the 14 pistol shots I got on me right now, I probably shouldn't even have the pistol on me. I should probably just be rocking straight up. Just running. That's not as much fun to watch, though. And then I get eaten and die after like 30 minutes. Punt my microphone. Alright, let's see what we got here, Miss Lippy. You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? This place. Get your team out of here. Demons. Everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake. But the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. No, I can't remember. There's a cer certain circumstance when you get the play is. I think that girl's name is Rebecca. She's actually, yeah, it's definitely Rebecca. She's in uh, Resident Evil Zero, which is an, also an awesome game. They redid that on the GameCube. Resident Evil Zero is the closest thing to this you're going to get in terms of uh, the way it plays and handles and the graphics. But the Resident Evil Zero is not nearly as good as this one. I don't think they have the zombies reanimate in Resident Evil Zero. And um, 
they also have this one enemy who doesn't die and he keeps coming back to life. And uh, I just don't trust anything that bleeds for seven days and doesn't die. Yeah, so literally, it's so it's so frustrating because if you know you're gonna do this, it's like, come on, man, hook up the serum. I don't need to come back here. But it's all good. I, I I can't remember how the guy's file works, but I know that if you play as Jill and you hook up the serum in an encounter that happens later on in the game, you end up getting an upgraded weapon. And it's nice. And it's not like uh, like in Resident Evil 4 where you're going to get like a G'd up weapon that starts icing dudes. It doesn't work like that. It, it, it has like 0.2% like, or no, 0.2 out of like uh, one second. So 20% faster firing rate than like the regular shotgun. And like maybe like, I don't even know if it does extra damage. I think it might just do the same amount of damage. It's like a very small upgrade. But it just makes your file look cooler that you get it. So it's kind of like one of those things that you don't really need to do, but it's pretty cool to do anyways. Actually, and you know what? I don't even know if you let this guy die and you don't get the serum to him. I wonder if he comes back as a zombie. That'd be pretty tight. I have a feeling they don't let that happen, but it would be cool if they did let it happen. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here. Take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! Rich. He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Hmm. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? Enough of that shenanigans. It took forever. In Jill's file, you just hand the guy the stuff and then he's just like passes out and he's all good later on. Guy's file, they drag you halfway across the mansion like four times. Rob, 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 rob. But we don't know what else to do, Mayor. Spice it up a little bit. I feel like this has been a pretty boring episode so far. Yeah, we're gonna... We'll spice it up a little bit. What are you, what are you gonna do? Actually, it'd be hilarious. I have no idea what I'm walking into right now. Oh yeah, I think that's the worst camera angle in the entire game. Oh, a dagger. Look at that. How are you gonna tell me that's not a green herb? Look at that thing. No. Forest was eaten by some ravens, man. The ravens in this game are malicious and they're like piranha. What's the ghost? Oh, are you gonna tell me you don't even... Oh my god.
you know I'm at least grabbing a healing item if I'm about to get whacked. Oh my lord. You... Okay, so I think coming out here literally did nothing. Yeah, no, that did literally nothing. I like that you get to see him run after you in the background over there. It's kind of cool. But this is the worst camera view in the entire game. You, like, don't even know what you're looking at. Okay, so I know that seemed pointless. I literally just went out there, got hit, and then healed myself. Uh, in the girl's file, you go out there, and he's got a grenade launcher on him. So... I thought I was getting a grenade launcher. I was proven wrong. And I don't know what is going to be over here. There could totally be a zombie in this room, because sometimes they slot zombies in there after you do the whole Richard shenanigans. I don't feel like getting nailed again. Oh yeah, they slotted a zombie. You can see the shadow. Okay, well, if you're not terrible, you can avoid him. You don't have to kill him. <sighs> but this guy, yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> let's go. I want to take a look at the blood real quick. How fast does it dissolve into the ground? They faded out over time, too. That's smart. Uh, the headshots in this and in Gears of War are the uh, most gratifying headshots, I think, in video games. When, I, when we used to rip Gears of War all the time and we used to play, like, semi-competitively... You would snip someone in the face if they had, like, a torque bow or something and you were rocking the, uh, the sniper. Oh, nothing was more gratifying than that. Besides maybe, like, hip-firing, like, like, three dudes. So this is actually a little trick I got. I think I showed you guys this before. You go like this so that when he comes out, you're good to just run away from him. Ooh, look what, look what I found. Nah, I was hoping he was gonna keep going the way he was going. Oh my god, the, the old school pathfinding in these games was so bad. committed now. Okay. And my handles were so pathetic to watch there. It's almost upsetting. Well, this guy's dead. So I didn't need to burn him. I was expecting to have to come back here and burn him. So that saved me some time, which was really nice. And I think they give you uh, green herbs in here in case you're like just expecting to get All right. So I think if I just run right now, he just misses. He does. So any room that has like a divide in it, it's almost guaranteed that if you just move your guy the right way, you actually don't have to kill the zombie. Uh, oh my god, I talked way too soon. They were not happy about him. He's probably gonna like sit right outside this room too. Some of the um, puzzles in this game are awesome. This is uh, not one of them. This puzzle is just monotonous. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, I think they like kind of tell you what to do. It's like push the shield. In. Okay, so clearly you push this one in. And then I think you push the bottom left one in. Unless if this is going to push that top one out, which would be... Okay, so now we just push this in and we're good. Oh yeah, they make you do this puzzle. It's like, uh, what do they want to do? It's like the two moons or something. Let's see if I got it right. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right, we got the death mask. Death mask two of four. Let's go. Let's go. Where are we at on time? 17. Good. Okay, let's just see. I cleared everything out, I'm pretty sure. How did I miss something in that room? That like, almost doesn't even make sense to me. So we're going to defeat a couple more rooms, and then we're going to set up for the, uh, the big encounter. After this next room. Yeah, so we, we're going to put the mask away, get rid of the greener. We're about to grab a bunch of stuff, so... like to put the masks together that way it's not hard to find them later i'm not gonna need any bullets whatsoever I'm not gonna need the musical score okay. i'll put all those items that are on the floor away during one of our breaks i'm gonna try to do a lot more tidying up when uh the camera's off so when we're actually watching me play you're watching me progress the file not just do the logistics in between because that's not entertaining to watch at all I feel like this is a highly unused song, musical score that they don't, like, I, this gives so much atmosphere, it's so intense. I feel like it's really mysterious, but it's spooky at the same time, it's, it's awesome. Okay, I feel like we're starting to do really, really good. I feel like we're really starting to pull this file away now. Yeah, we're just getting loaded up with stuff. Okay, yeah, we have like seven full healths now. Alright, well, is this door across from me locked? It is. So if this requires an old key, at least that'll consume an old key. Otherwise, I gotta go back to the box. Okay, good. There we go. Looks like we got a file here. 
Researchers will. There is a letter. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Alma. That's probably Wesker. I sit here trying to think of where to begin, of how to explain in a few simple words all that's happened in my life since we last spoke, and already I fail. I hope this letter finds you well and that you'll forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest of concepts, concepts slipping away, lost to feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma, please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you, and time is short, so accept these things as fact. Last month, there was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying, and the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. This virus robs its victims of the humanity, forcing them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts are only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. Okay, so this room is not just done just yet. What do we got here? A lure of a bee? No, we don't want the lure of the bee. We want... The bee specimen, I think, is what we want. Fish lures. So, you go like this, you combine... Oh, Jesus. Wait, can I at least put this guy back? Alright, that's good. There we go. Okay, just couldn't remember which one you combined. Okay. Alright, so now the insects are back. We press a button. The wind crest. And for some reason it pisses off this pig. Okay, and so we got the wind crest now. I think that is going to be a good place to stop this because I'm a little I'm a little confused on the guy file and uh, basically we're almost at a big milestone in the first playthrough for the guy but um, there's a couple of things that need to be taken care of first um, but we have one of the major components now we have the wind crest uh, we got plenty of health and uh, at this point, it's just persevering. We just got to keep going, keep chunking along, and this is going to start getting crazy. I mean, this game, when it starts picking up steam, it starts slow, but it gets nuts. And it's awesome. So we'll pick it up next time.